And so this is our second day of 30 days of high intensity training. And um, we're doing the bike, is the bike. And we're gonna follow it up like yesterday with some calisthenics. Um, but today we're doing the calisthenics a little differently. We're going to just rep out two sets of chin-ups and two sets of push-ups yesterday and day before we do like isometrics and plyometrics on the push-ups and chin-ups. Um, but today we're just gonna rip out. I like to change it up, you know, for various reasons, not the least of which is boredom. So I um, today I'm gonna do the bike, 20 minutes, and then I'm going to do two sets of chin-ups, two sets of push-ups, and I'm just gonna rip out uh, each one. So I have the bike, so I decided I'll do the bike. Uh, if it's nice out, like tomorrow, and I can get outside, I'll do that. And count that way, because the sprint workout is about three miles, between three and four miles of, of sprinting and walking fast. And uh, uh, I like to do that. Maybe I'll do between 15 and 18 sprints of anywhere between 60 meters and 100 meters. Like that worked out, especially when it's nice and hot outside. It's supposed to be that tomorrow. I might be there. But if it's raining or anything holds me up, I will definitely get one strike. And do this for 30 days and see what happens. See what happens. I'm doing a ketogenic diet as well. And uh, this, I think this is my sixth or seventh week of that. I had to weigh myself. My phone grew thicker, looser, but I don't know how much I, I don't know when I got significant weight off. That hasn't happened yet. I have lost some, or lost some inches anyway. But overall, it's just helping me reduce my intake of, of sugar. I have a big weakness with that. And one of the things about sugar is it makes you get a fat belly. Uh, that runs in my family. It's also, that goes with heart disease. I don't want that, so let's see what we can do. Okay, get ready. <laughs> I have 
I shouldn't even take. I still really took me a long time to accept, causing me to keep fat around my belly. And it's also a precursor to heart problems. As I said, to get out and see in my family. So, I'm doing this ketogenic diet so far. So good. Uh, the high fat diet, fat is the primary macronutrient, um, which in and of itself is an adjustment for me because as most people, I have been taught that fat is the enemy and that eating fat makes you fat, but that is not true. Eating sugar with fat makes you fat. If I was to just focus on fruits, Without fat and protein, just focus on fruit, natural sugar and fruit, and that's all I ate. I would lose weight, but it's hard to do what I am, and it's expensive to get high quality food, no quantities that are needed. If I lived in a tropical area like the Philippines or the Caribbean, I might live on fruit, but I can't do it here in the United States. The food is too expensive, but yes. Natural fats of avocado, nuts, uh, heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, yogurt, eggs, uh, in abundance <laughs> where I am in the United States, so I can get that. So, therefore, I keep the carbohydrates, especially sugar, to a minimum, moderate amounts of protein, high amounts of fat, so that my macronutrients. Or at least 70%, 70 percent, seventy zero percent fat. Here we go for the second. Definitely drink water. I don't feel like drinking it right now. Sometimes I bring it. I probably should, but I don't feel like it. Honestly. <clears throat> when I do want water, I will get it though. Or have any workout. I have a little hole spot for it right here. I have any clue. Uh, yeah, so doing a keto diet. I'm looking for the keto results plus the high intensity workout to do some reducing in body fat for myself over the next 30 days. I'm a, as you can see, I'm a Probably a kind of a husky guy. Um, my weight is generally around 200, 210. Uh, actually, last year I did keto for about eight to 10 weeks. And I know I lost about 15 pounds, 20 pounds. And my, my weight was close to over 220. And I did that. I stopped it because I was having serious muscle cramps. And I really had a Jones for some fruit. I learned that the muscle cramps were from lack of salt and potassium, which I can get those electrolytes in certain foods like avocados, walnuts, pecans, uh, pickles. So this year I've had to, felt like cramp might be coming on, but it hasn't. So I've been eating those foods. Um, also, uh, 
it's free if I want some, I'll have some. I just have to limit how much I have. But once in a while, I have a banana, a few grapes, a couple of grams of grapes. I keep it low, but it helps me so I don't have any strong cream. Plus, dark chocolate, I didn't realize I can have dark chocolate, so I make my own homemade dark chocolate. That helps a lot too. Yeah, dark chocolate helps a lot, man. I make my own homemade dark chocolate. Very easy. Basically, unsweetened dark chocolate. And yeah, you can use cacao butter or coconut oil, milky. And some heavy whipping cream or heavy cream, whichever. And then I mix in some uh, erythritol or monk fruit, which is zero calorie sweetener. Not the erythritol. They say it's about 70%, 70% the sweetness of sugar. That's kind of good. Then I throw some, a little bit of monk fruit in there. Monk fruit is sweet. But both of them are either one calorie or zero calorie sweetness. So they don't raise the blood sugar. And that's the key thing to insulin. So uh, that helps. I made it initially. I made a lot of chocolate. I got in the refrigerator. Anybody want some? <laughs> I got in the refrigerator. I can't eat it all. Um, I'm not eating as much as I first crave. Whenever I fast, I really crave it. But it's not as strong as it was six weeks ago. And I'm getting more satisfied with the fact that I'm eating. Like today I had a big salad with two eggs in it, avocados, olives, covered it with a little bit of mayonnaise, fat-free ranch dressing. I had that at 11.30 and now it's got to be 4 or 5 o'clock and I'm still not hungry. Um, I got some salmon upstairs. I'll probably have a little bit of that. I also had two fat bomb coffees, which consists of seven to eight ounces of black coffee. I put three tablespoons of melted butter, and then I'll add about three ounces of heavy cream, and then it fills you up with have one of those today too. reason I'm filming this is I'm hoping somebody over 50, especially like me, who 58, and somebody over 50 will be inspired to do their own workout. And also, it keeps me accountable for these 30 days. So I appreciate you all watching, helping me stay accountable. And you don't have to do that, so I appreciate it. I'm not doing it to get a million subscribers. I am not monetized, so I don't care. If YouTube doesn't pay me, I, I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing it for love. <laughs> for love. Yes. I like to do this because it simulates 
a running motion. I really do like the sprint. Yes, I was never really a sprinter when I was in school. If I had to do it again, I probably would. The reason I like the sprint is because it's fun, it's exhilarating. And I did notice, many of you probably have too, that the physique of sprinters is pretty good. So I thought their workout was up there, huh? Yeah. So, I don't use any free weights because I've always hurt myself with free weights. So I just do body weight exercises mostly. Calisthenics, I have a weighted ball. I might use that sometimes for body weight exercises. Isometrics, plyometrics, both of those help tremendously. Almost time for another sprint. Sprinting for me, what I've learned, and the same with this high intensity thing like this on this bike, is to try to stay as relaxed as possible. Try not to strain, because if you strain, especially if you're older, you will pull a muscle. So I never go 100% effort. I try to keep it to 80 to 90%. I'm going to not pull a muscle. To try to be as relaxed as possible. Two and a half minutes, I guess. 
then onto the calisthenic. And you saw, you might have seen before, the calisthenics part, let me take more than 10 minutes, probably closer to five. It's the intensity that we're looking for today. That's what it is. Just the intensity. High intensity training. Well, let me make it right. High intensity interval training. High intensity interval training. Hit. H I I T. High intensity interval training. We are doing here. We do an interval of speed, bounces, intervals of not <laughs> rest. Forgive me for the crudeness of the video, I am by no means video guru, obviously. Like I said, I'm not doing it to impress anybody or for money at all. I'm doing it for love. In this case, love of my health, love of inspiration for myself and other people. That's it. And I just love exercising. <laughs> Always have. Got that from my father. I was about, I remember being four or five years old and seeing him lift weights, do all kinds of workout, make up his own routines. I get that from him. Him like that is how it is. Of course, I let myself go for a number of years. But get back up on the horse and try to relax. Okay, that was that part. Now we're going to do a set of chin ups and then follow up push ups again. I'm not, I'm going to rep out on both two sets each. And I'm going to style just for change with my hands, my palms out. Those are harder for me, but just for sake of switching it up, like I said, I like to switch it up. So here we go. Gotta get my gloves. Okay, now we're going to do a set of push-ups. Okay. 
rest for about a minute and do that again. Except this time, palms facing me, and I wrap out the push ups again. Not a bad workout. Not bad. All right. Uh, ready? Here we go. And everybody has to use gloves, but I like to. Easier on my hands. Yeah. All right. One more set of push ups and we're done. Very nice. You notice I didn't do any leg stuff because uh, I did the bike. But you might see me replace either the chins or the push ups with some body weight leg exercise on some days because. I work the legs too. If I didn't ride the bike, I would be doing at least one exercise for the chins, push ups, and some body weight leg exercise. Sometimes even two. But the bike, as you can see, takes a little bit out of you. So I don't have the strength to do all three. And that's to me good for me to recognize times past I try to force it and hurt myself. But I've learned, recognize your limits. <laughs> the hard way it took me. But anyway, that's it. So I'm going to just knock out this set of push-ups. I think I did 30 the last time. I'm going to try to do another 30. And that'll be that. All right. All right. Thank you all for joining. Have a good day.